Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to identify duplicates with Power Query. Now Power Query is one of those Excel uh, BI or business intelligence uh, tools or features. It started to become available in I believe Excel 2010, uh, version 2010 as an add-in that you can download and then enable. Uh, subsequent versions of Excel, uh, it, I believe it's already there, I think in Excel 2016 is already there under a different name, but uh, other versions like 2013, I think you still need to download it and enable it. Now you can go ahead and do a Google search for Power Query and download and go to Microsoft site to go ahead and get instructions to do that. Um, once you do that and enable it, you'll get a Power Query tab here. Now you may think that with identifying duplicates in Excel, let's say for example I have a table here and uh, this this column here, this column of data here in column B does have duplicates and all I need to do is maybe use one of the already existing features in Excel maybe conditional formatting. I can go here and select this column uh, and do conditional formatting and highlight the duplicate values and you can see it's already highlighted here and I've got these duplicate values here uh, highlighted and I can just turn on my filter I'll go ahead and turn on my filter and maybe I'll just sort them so I can see them all together I'll sort A to Z, and you can see these duplicates showed up, right? Now this can be pretty easy to do if uh, this particular table, I've got only 500 uh, records, 500 rows of data. Now if I go into this particular set of data, so I'm in this table and if I go down and control down arrow, I've got uh, 500,000 records, right? So let me go ahead and control command home, or control home, and I can go back up to the top here. Now if I tried to do that here and go under um, home, go to conditional formatting, go ahead and highlight my cells um, that are uh, duplicates, you can see that it took a little bit of time to do it. Let's see if it found any. Rather than scroll down, let me go ahead and just turn on the filter. So after turning on the filter here, let me see if I can find uh, the record. Let me click on the drop down. You can see if, as I clicked on the drop down, it's trying to bring up that drop down it's taking forever because there's over there's about five half a million records here um, let me see if I can do it another way uh, to find my duplicates and press escape to get out of that maybe uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just control F to find I know that there is a duplicate record here I'm gonna go ahead and find all let me see if it finds it so it does find uh, two rows one in row 252499 uh, it's found that duplicate record and it's found another one here in row uh, 40744 but you can see that it took a long time because there's a lot of records here and this is only a two column table now what we can do here let me go ahead and scroll back up here control home to scroll back up is we can use power query to help us identify it and it can help us do the filtering and if we want to want it only to show certain duplicate records we can use power query for that so how do we do that let me go ahead and uh, click on anywhere in this range so I'll go ahead and get my Excel data from the table I'll go ahead and click on that and what it's done it's, br it's brought up the query editor I'll just go ahead and call this duplicates duplicates and then I do some cleanup here so we have our column header fields it didn't bring it didn't recognize that as the um, header so I'm gonna go ahead and change that so in the home tab here I can uh, use this particular option use first row as headers it'll bring up that first row and indicate it as headers and what I want to do now is I want to group by the item number so I'm gonna go to transform uh, click on group and what it's gonna do is gonna bring up a little window that lets me configure or add in some parameters. So I'm going to group by item number and I want to count those item numbers, right? So it's going to uh, just bring back that particular item number row uh, and count the items, right? So anything that's more than one, it's going to count it, uh, of course, more than one. So if I click OK, you'll notice that the, the table changed here. It's going to change and it's only going to give me the item number and it's giving me the count. So uh, this one is, shows only once, so we know that it is not a duplicate. So if I do click this filter here, you can see that there are more and this list may, may be incomplete because there's a lot of uh, records here. So if I click load more, you'll notice that I have a ton of records here that are duplicate. So let's say, for example, I want to select anything that's more than four and five you can see that it's going to bring back uh, the item numbers that show up more than um, four or five times, right? These item numbers here. Let me go ahead and unselect that right now. But you, you might notice uh, what happened to 
the um, country designation, that two-letter country designation, it's gone. Well, we had to configure something differently in the group. If we didn't want to, if we, all we want to do is count a particular column with the duplicates, then this step is all you need to do. All you need to do is this close and load, and it's going to bring up another table. Let me go ahead and close and load it and show you what it looks like. So what it's going to do, it's going to bring you it back into the Excel and put that particular table from the query editor into Excel as a new worksheet, right? And so it's going to have that particular um, configuration. Now, if we wanted to bring back uh, the other column, our country column, we have to do something a little bit different. So let me go back into uh, the sheet here. And I've got my workbook query. If this is if this disappeared from you, let's say for example, uh, you kind of clicked X and it disappeared. You can just go back to Power Query and go to Show Pane, and the query will be there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click and edit, and I'm going to edit this query, and I'm going to. Uh, remove that step. You can see that when you do steps, it records it for you in a way. It logs the steps that you did. So let's say that I didn't want to do that step. I undo it. Click on the X here. I undo it and see the country shows back up. Now we want to go ahead and regroup. So I'm going to go ahead and click on item number, go to transform, and do the group by function again. Right? And so I have the same thing I had before. I had my count, count by rows. But if I wanted to bring back uh, other columns, let's say for example I had this column or maybe more than this column, I can just click on the plus and add uh, a second um, column name. I'm just going to call this details and it'll bring back uh, those columns that I need. So it's only one column so it'll, it'll just bring back one column. If I had an example where I had two or more columns then it'll bring back those. So for this particular operation I'm going to select all rows. Right. So it's going to bring back the count, the counter rows, which we saw earlier, and it's going to bring back the the detail um, for all the rows here. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and what you'll notice now is it looks a little bit different because we'll we'll have a count for the item num count for the item number, but we'll also have this detail column which you can expand out, and it'll show the columns for the particular tables that you might want to bring back. So if I click on this expand it's going to ask me which particular columns do I want to include. I already have item number, so I'm not going to include item number. And I'm going to unselect that because what it's going to do, it's going to add, it'll put something like column one dot country and column one or column two dot item number. So I'm going to use just the, I'm not going to use the it as a prefix. I'm just going to have that particular t uh, heading show up. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And what it's going to do, it's going to bring back the um, that particular column with the country and, of course, the values that are there. So once I have this, I can either do my filtering here or I can put it back into Excel and do my filtering there. With this large set of, of uh, records, maybe I want to do my filtering here and maybe I just want to show uh, anything that is a duplicate. So basically the count of more than one. So I'll just go ahead and remove the ones here. I'll go ahead and remove the runs ones here and click OK. And maybe uh, I want to be able to sort it to kind of figure out uh, which particular item is showing. Oh, it's already done that. So it's it's sorted it here. So we know that we have our count of two. We have this one showing up two times. Uh, this one's showing up two times. Uh, if I go down further, it'll probably show up more. So I'll, after that's done, now I can probably put it back into Excel. I'll do close and load. And it's going, to, it's going to put it back as a worksheet in Excel. And you can see here we have a count of two. This shows up. This basically, this says it shows up twice, and you can see that, yes, it does show up twice. If I go and control down arrow to go to the bottom, let's see if we have anything that, that shows up more. Uh, not here, but let me go ahead and just deselect some of them here. Maybe do four and five. Click OK. And now uh, we see, let me go ahead and go back up here. We see we have items that show up four times. This one shows up four times here. It counts at four. And so that's the way we can identify the duplicates uh, with Power Query. You can see that it gives you a lot more efficiency, uh, a little bit more speed when you have a lot of records. So in addition to like look, working, working with a lot of records, let's say, for example, hundreds of thousands of records, which makes it easier than using the conditional formatting, uh, if you do this on a common basis or you want to get some variations in the output. Maybe you want to do the filtering in the Power Query editor and then put it out to the Excel tab. Uh, it's probably a little bit more efficient and kind of better f in terms of speed for you. So that's how we can identify duplicates using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.